Hi all, in this lecture, we'll download different Informatica Oracle versions and other relevant softwares which are needed to support the upgrade process. So you can come to any browser and then search for Oracle eDelivery. You have to open eDelivery.oracle.com. Now, in case you have your Oracle account set up, you can simply sign in or it's quite easy to set up your account as well. So I'll use my credentials to log in into this Oracle eDelivery. So once you log in, this will be the landing page that you will be seeing. In this search bar, you have to type Informatica and then choose the second option, which is Business Intelligence Data Warehouse and Informatica Power Center. Once you click on it, it will be in the results section as well. So you have to click this and then it will be added into the queue. Now we have to go to view items and click on continue. So now we have to choose which operating system compatible version installer we want to download. So here you can see we have got IBM, Linux, Microsoft Windows, Oracle Solaris. So I'll be doing this upgrade on Windows 64. So I'll be choosing this one. And then you can see the continue is enabled now. We'll click on continue. And then we have to accept the terms and restrictions of this. So come down. Select this checkbox and then click on continue. You can close this feedback. And then here you can see we have got different Informatica versions available starting from 951 till 10.4.1. Now, depending on when you are taking this course or you will be performing this upgrade, there might be newer versions available. But for this upgrade, we will be using Informatica 9.6.1 and we'll be upgrading it to 10.4. So, if you have to download these, you have to uncheck all this and then you can select the one that you want to install. Let's say if you want to start with 951, then you can start or you can select these four, which is relevant for 951 installation based on the description. But here, we will be using 961. 10.2 and 10.4.1. It's simply because you cannot go from 9.6.1 to 10.4.1. You have to go from 9.6.1 to 10.2 and then from 10.2 to 10.4.1. Now again, there are different upgrade paths available, which we'll be talking in our upcoming videos. But for this uh, down for this upgrade purpose, I'll be using 9.6.1, 10.2 and 10.4. Now I've already installed 9.6.1 uh, on my machine. I'll be downloading 10.2. So for that, let's select the relevant packages that we need to download from Oracle eDelivery. Now, once you have done that, you can click on download. Click on this .exe file that has been downloaded. Now it will ask you, where do you want to install or where do you want to download the packages from Oracle eDelivery? So let's click on browse, give a relevant path. So I have got 961 and 1041 already um, in my local drive. So here you can see this is 961 Informatica. This is your 104 Informatica that I have got. Let me create a new folder here and say 102 Informatica. So we'll click on 102 Informatica and then click on next. Now here you can see these two files have started downloading to that relevant path. Now these are quite big files, so it might take some time. Um, we'll resume back once these are downloaded. So now both the zip files have been downloaded. So we'll go to the directory where I have downloaded it. So we'll go to D, tend to Informatica, and now we can see we have got two zip files. So what we'll do is we'll extract them both here yeah, so we'll extract them both here
and we will wait for this to be extracted into this folders. So the extraction has been completed. Let's go to the first folder and we see another uh, zip file which needs to be extracted. As it says, it's a server installer. So we'll right click and we'll extract it here. And I'll go back to the second folder because this is a client installer. And let's extract the client installer as well. So we'll wait for these two to be extracted. So now we have got our client and server installer. So if we go back to 10 to Informatica and come one directory up, if I check the size of this, we can see it's quite a, a big folder. So if you have enough space, then yes, you can keep all the unnecessary files, but I would like to clean it up. So let's remove these two zip files, which were downloaded from Oracle delivery because we have already extracted them. And then I'll go into one or first folder and then I'll remove this one as well because we have again extracted this. And if I go to the second folder here, I can see that I have got the, the extracted file unzipped already. So I'll remove this one. And this is the key that we will be using when we will be upgrading from 961 to 10.2. So now if I come back and check the size of it, it's 20 gigs. So we'll cancel this. And now I'll show you the 10 for one installer that I have already downloaded. So if I go to Informatica, the first step again, is we will be downloading these two zips from the Oracle eDelivery. So if I have still that, session open so here i have downloaded these two for informatica 10.4 so that's step one then i have unzipped it into these two folders which we have seen for 10.2 and then the step three would be to get into client and server folder so basically i have extracted this part one into client and the second one into server so just the organization if you want to so what i'll do is i will remove these two as well because these are taking loads of space so i'll remove this one as i don't need it in step two i still do not need this file now because i have got the client and server folders extracted the key is still present here And we'll remove the server as well. So now in step three, I still have my server as well as client, which we will be using to upgrade from 10.2 to 10.4. And if I show you 961, I've already cleansed it up um, before sh shooting this video. So we have got the client installer as well as the server installer and this is up and running this has been already installed on my machine the 961 using this key and the services are up and running we'll be seeing that in the upcoming videos so now we have got three different versions of informatica 961 10.2 and 10.4 so i'll just rename this as well so this is 10.4 and all these three are windows installers so the second software that we need to download is Oracle because this is where you will be uh, creating your domain and repositories uh, or model repository. So or um, your power center repository services, etc. Basically your metadata. So we need a database for that. So you can simply go to Oracle, uh, any browser and search for Oracle Express Edition. So based on when you are doing it, you will be taken to the latest version of Oracle, whichever is present on their website. And here at the top, you can click on download Oracle database XE or Express Edition. So once you click on that, you will be seeing different 
OS compatible versions, whether it's Linux, Windows. So again, I am on Windows 64, so I'll be using this one, but I have already got the Windows uh, installer for Oracle and I've already installed it to use it for 961 as I mentioned before. So once you click on this, a zip file will be downloaded to your local machine. So what we'll do is, you can download it here. So the step one would be, you will see something like this. So this is 21st uh, edition for Oracle that we were seeing there. And then once you extract it, you will see something like this. So I have already got Oracle 18 and that's the version that I have used. I haven't used Oracle 21, but you can still use it. So once you open that folder, you will see the simple installer. You just have to click next, 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 etc. You will be asked for one password for your sys account that you need to set up. So please remember that password because you will be using that user and password uh, to create the other domain and repository services or uh, users in your database. So that sh should be quite simple uh, to install the Oracle. Um, so once you have Oracle installed, the best thing would be to go to the services and see if the Oracle services are up and running just to see, check whether the installation was successful or not. So here you can see I've got listener recovery service as well as my database in the running state. The third software that we would be needing is SQL Developer. This is a client to access your database. So again, you can download it from Oracle website straight away. Uh, you can simply type download SQL Developer for Windows. So you can open any link and then I always prefer every edition that has JDK included because this will help me straight away start the SQL developer without setting any environment variables to point to Java, etc. So you can download this. Once you download this, again, you will see a, a zip file. So if I open this, you will see something like this. And once you extract it, you'll simply get a folder. And from this folder, you can open this application straight away. You don't have to do any installation with SQL developer. And the last one is Java. So I had to download Java to support the 961 installation. I'll be showing you in the in our next video how that environment looks like, which I have installed or set up in my machine. But you have to download Java as well if you are starting with 961. So you can download it easily from Oracle website. So if I go to my browser and type download Java we can click on Java downloads and here you can see we have got Java 18 17 we have got Java 8 and Java 11 so you can download whichever compatible operating system version you want to so you can simply download it from here uh, for Windows or from for Linux Solaris etc so if I click on Windows here you can see x86 or x64. You can simply download it and install it. Again, it's very easy. It will be simply installed straight away. So if I go back to the folder now, so we have got three versions of Informatica. We have got the database. We have got the client, which is SQL Developer and Java. So these are the folder that we will be needing uh, to set up the initial version of Informatica and then to upgrade it till the final version which would be 10.4. I'll see you in next one. Thank you.